next question will be question number six what happened yeah so this is going to be our question number six so what is sign of 30 so just by looking at the solution only I can tell what is the solution uh, just by looking the half of the figure because I know this kind of I like this kind of solution or this procedure uh, the one way to find sine 30 is so look basically there are values for calculating sine and cosine um, basically there is a general table which has the value of uh, 30 degrees 0 degree 45 and 90 and I will always suggest that you just memorize that table because that will help you a lot but uh, second approach is to use the unit circle third approach is to use your calculator and the fourth one is to just play with a triangle so uh, this is an equilateral triangle let's say a b c uh, length of each and every side is a angle is 60 all the angles are 60 uh, so i'll just write 60 60 and this whole complete angle is 60. now what we do we just draw a perpendicular from the uh, one edge to the opposite side so in equilateral triangle what is it does is that first it breaks the other side in two halves so this will become a over 2 and the rest will be a over 2 second it also bisects the angle so this is 60 degrees so it divides it in two equal half of which is 30 degrees so this angle will become 30 degree and obviously this is a perpendicular so this will be 90 degree um, now we need to calculate i guess yeah so we need to calculate uh, sine so for sine uh, we won't be needing this length the length of the perpendicular but we can just calculate the length of the perpendicular let's say this side is ad so we can calculate ad is will be under root of ac square which is hypotenuse square minus the square of base and then we'll get root 3 by 2 a i guess yeah but the thing is that we won't uh, be needing this uh, length because for sine we need the opposite length and the hypotenuse which both of which we have so sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse in our case sine 30 will be opposite is dc over uh, hypotenuse is ac now dc is a over 2 and ac is a so this and this will get cancelled and i can write sine 30 as 1 over 2 which is the correct value of sine 30 we can also calculate cosine it will be i think it will be root 3 over 2 and we can calculate tangent that will be 1 over root 3 so again they have given uh, they have given the first approach the second approach they have also given the second approach so i can i'll just also explain that also so basically if uh, you have the unit circle so to calculate the trigonometric ratios for uh, a particular angle what we do for the angle for the uh, for the line which has that angle so let's say this is the line of 30 degree uh, we take the coordinates of x and y then for unit circle sine of theta is nothing but the y coordinate cosine of the angle is nothing but the x coordinate and tangent is nothing but y over x so here i can say sine of 30 degree 
is going to be the y coordinate of this so this will be 1 over 2 x1 is root 3 by 2 so cosine will be root 3 by 2 so again with the uh, unit circle we can calculate the angle and i guess again that is also pretty much everything for this one also so i'll just write correct solution good work